everybody welcome back to Buckland Farm so it's been nearly three weeks since we were last on here um, at the risk of repeating myself on different series um, you may only watch this series um, apologies if you watch the other series as well and have heard this before but um, yeah the reason is just family um uh, what's the word it's not issues or problems just family life in general um my dad hasn't been very well for a little while now uh so we've had a lot of sort of hospital stuff going on and yeah it's just um not been a great time so i haven't really had a lot of time to concentrate on getting recordings done um the calm lands series i have been getting episodes out on that um purely because it's just easier for me to record and it's, it's easier to record or concentrate on one sort of series when i'm not really sure when i can Put the time and effort into the recording so i hope that makes sense um apologies if you have missed the series but um i am going to try and get at least one episode of buckland out each week possibly two uh kalenovka series has now finished that unfortunately um i had a few problems and couldn't continue that series so at the moment, I've just got the Buckland series and Farmlands series. Um, I am looking at doing another series. So you may have seen on the community poll uh, or a commun on the community feed, I did a poll um, for the next series and that came out as a UK style map was voted the, the most popular so I am looking it may not be UK it may be sort of European so maybe French German um, but yeah sticking to a, a European map I think um, so that is in the works I'm just uh, going to take my time to plan plan it out and get the right map. Um, but yeah, so we are back on Buckland. So I did skip. Well, I didn't skip. I've, I haven't recorded anything over October. Um, I did do a few bits and pieces. So I did a couple of contracts, bailing contracts, um, so at one point we were up to about 240,000. Um, I haven't done any selling since the last episode, I don't think. So we've got quite a few bits and pieces that are ready to sell. Um, and I'm just doing a silage contract on this field, our favourite field 41. So he's chugging away. Um, now, for this, I've decided that I am going to use an auto load trailer <clears throat> and the quick bail. So, we've leased the quick bail just for the ease of doing the contract. Um, I didn't really want to start using stuff like this but because of the circumstances just getting recordings done it'll make it a little bit easier and we have bought this trailer so this is the standard base game Kroger Agriliner um, but it is the auto load version so it will auto load pallets as well so you get 44 pallets on there um, various 
amounts of different sort of pallets, big bags, etc. But it will also do bales. So this will make going around all the productions with the various bits and pieces a little bit easier. Can auto load them. Um, I'm I'm not saying I'm not going to use the lorry and flatbed trailer, but for now I'm going to be using this auto load. Um, some of the changes we have. Let's go down. Uh, where are we? Here we are down to here. So over here. Um, I've chopped down some more trees over in the distance. So we've topped up the paper factory and the sawmill. So as you can see, we've got quite a few products there. We've got some paper and cardboard roll. We've got lots of straw stuff. And I think we've got three statues over there. Um... And I've topped up this sawmill with wood as well. The manure from this outhouse is distributing to the BGA. Um, but yeah, over here. So where we've started cutting trees down on the next plot. I have placed a wood storage yard. So I'm using this on calm lands. Um, but it just means I can continue cutting down the trees in here. Bring them all over. Put them into this wood storage, which has a million litre capacity. So drop them here. And it will store them. And then we can... I mean, it's empty at the moment, but we can get out the logs so we can put a full tree in here. Don't even have to delimit. Um, and this storage would delimit and cut it into six meter lengths. Nice, chunky six meter uh, lengths of wood. So it'll make it easier to load onto the trailer but it's just somewhere to store it so I can crack on with all this logging, probably off camera, um, start clearing a lot of this and then that will store in there and then we can take some out when we need it to top up the, the productions over there. So I still haven't picked up the, um, the logs that I'd already cut in the last episode and of course this field now has crop in it so we need to get these out these piles just put them into the wood storage so that is one job we've got to do um our carrots was it carrots yeah carrots they're ready to harvest and we have also so I've planted in grass in the two fields here that we joined up. We've got canola in this one, grass in this one, oats in here, and wheat in this one. So they're all drilled, rolled, fertilised, etc. These two now have weeds, so we need to clear the weeds out of these two. And we've got this one here to drill and roll and fertilize. So I'm gonna put barley in this one, but I'm gonna wait until November two to do that. And then we'll also have this field to prep as well. And we can seed that. So we'll get those two done in the next episode, probably. Um, at the moment, I can only do sort of wheat, uh, the, the grain, crops so wheat barley uh we can't do canola now that's gone so it's just wheat barley and oat at the moment as i say the the 
the fields that I've drilled grass into, the plan is to get one, probably, probably only going to get one cut out of it now in March. But then once we've cut it, we can reseed it for soybeans. Um, but we could probably also do that with another. <clears throat> so we might do one with soybeans and one with corn or sunflowers. And actually, I think I might. That carrot field i think i might do that as grass um and then once we've cut that in march or april we can then drill sorghum just to utilize different crops so yeah i think i'll do that uh so what else do we need to do so i think that's it so while he's finishing off the mowing think we'll get the mower on its way um so the cow pasture here it has a capacity of 10,000 liters for the water or is it 20 no 10 but it goes through it really quick so I have to top it up more than once a day which is a little bit annoying but um yeah need to keep an eye on that as well because i've got the animal grazing mod there is a oh, this doesn't come up now it was telling me in the in the menu there that there was a buffer so they've got a a buffer of grass but i think in the animal menu here i think where it says grass 28 and a half thousand liters that's what's on the field so we might need to do a tmr mix next month but yeah as i say we'll get the weeder on its way uh so yeah we need this reno really i still haven't turned off manual attach I keep forgetting and I have to keep doing it in here <clears throat> so we'll get him back to the farm pick up the weeder actually we might as well go to the shop and get the baler then at least we can take the baler down So I, uh, some of the money has been spent on repairing the Fent and the Massey. Between the two of them, it was 47 and a half grand to repair them. The Fent was um, really bad, that's 33. So, yeah. But I have also, because I've been using the Massey and the Fent quite regularly, while I've been doing bits and pieces. Um, the uh, the vehicle maintenance costs have been quite high. Because obviously I'm leasing. I own the Fent but I'm leasing the Massey. And because the damage was quite bad on the Massey. Um, it was costing quite a lot per hour which I didn't really think about, so. Yeah, I need to keep an eye on that sort of stuff. So the fence on the drill, ready for drilling in this field next month. So we're going to take him. Oh, and I've bought a new roller as well. So this is an 11 meter roller. That was about 40 grand, but it's twice the size, mid nearly, of the roller we had. I am going to keep the smaller one because it's only worth about one and a half grand to sell. So there's not much point 
in um, in selling that. Might as well keep it as a second roller for smaller fields. So, yeah, we need the Renault to get back. I'll put the baler on this one. Then we'll start collecting that grass. I have switched it around a bit. Um, because the... Why is that not turning on? Strange. So we'll change it to the biggest. Um... Why is that not working? I was going to say I switched it round because the I realised the weeder needs 250 horsepower. Um, but this will cool the baler absolutely fine. But for some reason. Won't turn on. Do everything else. How strange. Hmm. Let's just let this, uh, let the Massey finish mowing and then we'll try that with the baler. Mower's back. Um, our silage in the pit here is now fermented so we could probably sell some of that um, still got bales in fact I'm not sure how the biogas is getting on yeah so it could do with some obviously the manure is being distributed over by the outhouse production so yeah we've got i think all together because we've we've got a full sort of load i think it's 14 bales of silage in the storage shed um but all together i think we've got over 800,000 liters of silage so we can afford to sell some and in fact next month is next month or January, I can't remember, is the best month for selling silage, so. Right, so let's see if we can get this running. Yeah, that's running it fine, so I don't know what was wrong with the Renault. Um, yeah. So yeah, not very realistic at all. <laughs> um, Forty-five miles an hour, kilometres an hour. The pick up, the, the pickup width is insane on this as well. Really big. And it will do, we're on the biggest size, so I think they're 50,000 litre bales as well. So it's not going to take too long to uh, to get this done. So I'm hoping that that auto load trailer does pick these up. can't see why it wouldn't because it does pick up well other trailers pick up these 50,000 litre bales so it should be fine it's 
bit hard because you can't quite get two swaths in one go even though the the pickup is so big so we're better off just uh just sticking to the one swath But um, yeah, I'm going to crack on with this. Now, I'm not sure if I'm going to put this into a time lapse or a jump cut. I'll have to see when I edit it because it, cause it is such a quick job anyway. Well, it's still going to take a bit of time, but it's the Baylor's so quick um, that it might not really work in a time lapse because it would just be really quick but um, I'll see what it's like when I edit the video so I'll either see you after the time lapse or in a second Is the last bit of grass. Let's just see what's in that baler. Nearly a full bale. I don't think we've got any grass left to pick up. I 
Lass es scheinen. Should have um, should have downloaded the uh, unload Baylor mod that allows you to unload a partial bale because we've got forty four thousand liters in there and we can't get it out. Um, probably what I should have done is set it or kept an eye on it and then set it to the lowest sides there's little bits but it's not gonna it's not gonna make up another full bale that's unfortunate and um, you may have seen as well I did just go straight through the hedge and carry on for a minute and um, that was because my controller was painting up so it's 44,000 litres in there um, I mean that could be that's, that's a lot of money's worth there A little bit here, but well, just bear with me. I'm going to see if I can download that mod and then see if when I load back into the game whether it lets me unload that. If not, we'll just have to call it a loss. Um, and if not, I will see you back down here with the trailer. So, I've got the auto low trailer over. Um, turns out it will do 10 180 size round bales. But that's fine. Um, the baler, I did download the unload bales early mod but it wouldn't come up so I think that's probably because it's got to be when you first start using it it will kick in so but I have got a plan for that hopefully that will work so we'll just collect these then I'll show you what I'm thinking I think there was 16 bales all together and then hopefully we'll get one more um, so I don't actually remember where these are going for this contract uh, oh to the biogas okay So I put the biogas and I'm assuming mm. no. Okay. There an unload. Oh yeah, there is. Let's just swing it round. that unload ah wrong side right okay turn around again Uh, 
Um, it's not taking them. Oh, yes, it is. It's just because there's so much of it, it takes it quite slow. So now we're going to start getting paid. Oh, no, that's going to go into our production, isn't it? So well, that's all right. We've... Um, We've completed the contract and we've got a bit of silage in the biogas so we can now go and collect the rest of those um so what we'll do is send him off And I'll show you my plan. Why is he stuck? Da -da. Let's get him back on the job. Uh, where is he? Okay. right yeah so my plan because we own the verges we own all this bit of roadway well we own all the main roadways so just going to mow down this road till we fill up the baler so we can get that last baler out So, oh, it's not, it's not collecting it, is it? Because it's not even cutting the grass. Oh, no, it is. So why is that not going up? Well, now it is. Right, okay. So we had to overload it to the second chamber. still really weird though because it's not picking that bit up it's a bit strange why is it not hmm my plan might not be working oh now we can unload the finished bow okay there we go Done. All right. Excellent. So, turn that off. Um. Yeah, we'll just have to leave that bit of grass there then. All right. So we can send the baler back. was determined to get that last bail so we've achieved that so yeah we've got seven bales at 50,000 litres so that is 350,000 um, so I think we'll just sell all that because we don't need it as we've got all of that and we've got a stack of bales around here. And we're also going to have a 
pile of um, or a load of grass work to do soon. So yeah, right, let's find the Renault. Take over from him. Let's grab this one first. And then grab what's left. So I think we'll probably we'll just grab these, get them sold, and then we'll turn the contract in. And then I think we'll probably call the episode there. And then in the next episode we'll move into November 2. Do a, uh, a big sell of all our products. And then we can get the carrots harvested get them into the soup factory and start making some carrot soup oh of course the other one oh yeah, one of them's grass because it hasn't fermented. Um, let's try and find it. It's that one. So we can ferment the bale quickly. Yeah, a little bit cheaty, but that is fine by me. So 346,000 and 98 litres. So let's see what we can get for that. Headed to the hay and straw sale point. We haven't been here for a very long time actually. So I imagine I'm going to have to unload it. No, it's going. Can't get it all in one though, by the looks of it. Okay, that should take it all. There we go. So, I'm not sure how much that was. Um, I think we're on 60-something thousand. 
So yeah, about 130 grand, I think. And then we can turn the contract in as well. It's 46 grand. There we go, 237. Excellent stuff. And we're going to have a lot of stuff to sell in the next episode. So, yeah. We can um, crack on with getting some of this leased stuff brought and maybe get some of the loan paid off. I do want to concentrate on buying the the most used stuff. So, the stuff that is leased that we use a lot because that is costing us a lot in vehicle um, in the vehicle costs when they get deducted from our bank so if I can concentrate on buying those before anything else I think that will help a lot so, so yeah I'll um I'll be leaving this one here so thank you very much for watching um, as I say I am going to try and get back on track and get at least one maybe two episodes of this series out each week so it won't be as long this time um, but yeah thank you and I will see you in the next one bye for now